Hey guys, Erica here, and I am a little bit early today. I know some of you are going to be like, wait a minute, you're early. I um, thought I would get things going a little bit early today. I have a ton of stuff to show you. Um, so I, um, I want to have enough time for that. All right, I'm going to adjust the camera just a bit. Please be patient with me. All right, so hello everybody. Um, I, <laughs> I am going to just do the, the little technology things I have to do at the beginning and see, you know, nobody has joined me yet. Oh, maybe one person. You guys are good about being on time. I'm sorry I'm being early today, but that's okay. I'm not going to get into anything major right away. So I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, it has been a insane week here for me with Stamping Up. It's just been crazy. Um, so many new announcements and um, wow, you guys, what's happening? I can see that you're there. Say hello if you can hear me just so I can make sure that this is working and I'm not crazy because I don't see any comments. Don't you love this part of Facebook Live where we all look silly at the beginning because we don't know what's happening? Let me make sure. Hmm. You guys, are you there? Something's happening. Well, who knows what's happening? I don't know. Goodness, I can't see anything. I know some other people have been having trouble with Facebook Live this week, and I was hoping that we would not have that problem. But I don't want to do this if I can't see y'all's comments. All right, if you guys are there, say hello just so that I can move on. Hmm. All right, well, this is what we're making today. Before I get into that, I want to show you um, all the goodies I got at On Stage. Um, on Stage is a really wonderful um, event that Stamping Up puts on for demonstrators. And you can only go if you're a demonstrator. And we have, actually, it's a two part deal. Um, there's a, oh, Julie, yay, hello, thank you, okay, good. <laughs> there's like nobody saying anything, no comments, so it was really like freaking me out, and I didn't know if I was on. Okay, good, now we can proceed. Um, so on stage is um, an event that Salmonette puts on twice a year for demonstrators, and um, they put it on in different locations all over the world, so um, you go to the one that's near nearest you, or um, the one that is in the most fun location that you want to go to. And I went to Fort Worth because that's only a four hour drive for me. Um, but you go and we had um, center stage the night before, which is just for leaders, um, people who have a ranking, a rank of, I guess not rank, a title of Silver Elite and above. And we got these wonderful in color markers, which if you guys haven't watched my um, color revamp video that I did earlier in the week, make sure you go look at that because I talk about the colors. I also got the new stamp pad, um, soft suede is what I got. This is the new stamp pad case. And they also gave us this awesome color swatch that has all the wonderful little cardstock pieces in it. And I know, <laughs> I shouldn't admit this, but um, I know there's been some talk of people making these um, for maybe their teams or their customers, but you guys, I could not cut this many pieces of cardstock this perfectly. I don't know why, but I, my cardstock never comes out completely the, the same. So I don't think I could, could um, carry that off. I don't know. I have a great paper cutter. I think it's a user error. Um, and then we also got these, here's my tambourine. We were supposed to make lots of noise. We got a cute little, the theme was 80s. We got a cute little notebook. And then the next day was the regular on stage, which is for all demonstrators. 
and we all had um, the tables. The setting was beautiful. I think this year they really outdid themselves. Um, the as the tables went back through the room, they were different colors, so like pink and then orange and yellow, and they were a mix. They had butterflies and stuff, and then your grid paper and your journal depended on what table you were at. So I have really started using these journals. I use them to make all my to-do lists and to price out my classes. I learned that trick from my friend Rhonda Wade because I was using post-it notes and then I was losing them. She was, she said, hello, write in a notebook. So I really use the notebooks all the time. Um, we got stamp sets. Everybody got this stamp set, which is so cute. It actually has some framelits that go with it too, but we just got the stamp set. Um, if you don't know, the annual catalog will be coming out on June 1st. Um, those of you who have asked, I get to order the catalogs um, May, the like very beginning of May. So I'll order a bunch and I will tag them. Anybody who's placed an order with me in the last year will get one. Um, but just know it takes me a while. I probably will have up to upwards of 300 going out this year via mail. And that is really a lot of work. Um, labeling, um, printing out, uh, mailing labels, all that. So just be patient with me. If you've ordered with me in the last year, you will get one from me. Um, so anyway, oh, Charlie says hello. It's not UPS today, it's FedEx. That's different. They really keep a good schedule too. They're right on time. Um, okay, so there's Animal Outing. This was my prize patrol. This actually wasn't my prize patrol. They call prize patrol throughout the whole thing. And you, eventually everybody gets a prize. And the one I got I was not happy with, <laughs> which is ridiculous because we should be happy with anything that's free. But one of my downline traded with me because she liked it. And so this is one I got. These will all be in the new annual catalog. Hi, ladies. I see you popping on. I'm early. I was a little bit early because I'm afraid I'm not going to get through everything today. And then here was the all attendee giveaway. Um, this is a stamp set that we got, which is really neat. It'll be great for the stamp Stamparatus. And it has framelits too, which I'm very excited about. Um, we um, did some make and takes. Let's see, I'll save my favorite for last. Here's one. This is, um, this is some vellum paper that we colored with blends. And then the um, stamp set's very interesting. It's kind of, I guess, is gothic the word? You know, it looks very like church, churchy letters. Um, I don't know. I've heard mixed things about it, but I really do like this card. And look at this trim. It's really interesting. Um, it's like a zipper. Really cool. Then here's one. And this is a suite of products that I'm going to talk to you about next. So I'll just hold off and tell you all about that in a minute. So that's one of the make and takes. Here's another one. This is actually some DSP, some designer series paper that you come, it's laser cut and you can put it on top of things. It's beautiful. And then some really cute um, tool ribbon that I love. And this is my favorite. This is... Um, a suite called Rooted in Nature, and it's got matching framelits and stamps and these gorgeous little embellishments. And then the twine, we actually got to split up all the um, the supplies at the end from the box in the middle of the table, and I got the twine. Of course, you know I would pick the twine. Um, what else? I got something else, and I can't remember what it was. I can't remember what I got from that box. What was it? Hmm, I don't know. Okay, so those. Oh, and then here's the bag which was super cute. You've probably seen pictures of it online. It's um, a hobo bag, and I think I did, I did show you guys too. It's reversible. All right, so let me move that out of the way. I have so much stuff today, I do not have enough table space. Um, okay, so let me show you some swaps that I got. I didn't swap very much. I didn't make very many swaps, I really didn't have time. But um, I did get a few things. This is absolutely gorgeous. No name on the back. It's um, embossed and then colored in. And that's, um, I'm drawing a blank, can't even think of the name. But it's Valentine specific, isn't it? But it doesn't look Valentine's here. I love those colors. Here is one from Pat Smith. There's that stamp set you guys keep asking me to use. I keep looking at it, haven't given up yet. Look, she embossed that, super cute. Um, this one is a sneak peek. This is from Susan. She was um, a presenter, so she had some product ahead of time and got to make a card with it. And this is also that suite of products I'm going to tell you about in a second. This is from my friend Kay. And she went overboard. Look at that um, embossing paste there. She, I told her she's crazy. That's a lot of work. And she said she didn't do it on all of them, just a few of them. And I got one of the special ones. 
beautiful. Look at those things cut out in silver. That is so much work. It always amazes me how much work people put into swaps. Here's a really awesome one from Lori Suter. Look at that. It's a calendar. She said, I know you do calendars, and I, I did one too. Isn't that it's so cute? I love it. I like how she did those those um, letters with a black behind it. That's a lot of work too. You guys are amazing. Here's one that's very similar to my swap, Letitia. And that cute little mermaid. I'll show you mine in a second. Here's another beautiful one with no name on it. They colored that. That's the black and white DSP. They colored very pretty. Um, let's see. Here's one. I have to open it from um, Debbie Pippin. You have to see it. Oh, goodness. I can, oh, hello, it's not even sealed. This is one that was, we did this in my class. I don't know if she took my class, but it was very similar to that, my online class. Isn't that pretty? It folds flat like that. Um, here's one, and I don't know who this is from either, but look, it holds a little Ghirardelli. It's like the, it's like a little purse. It uses that, um, that box, the Valentine um, box of love, love notes. I, I can't remember anything today. But it's that. She made a little folder. I thought that was so cute. And then Anne Marie, this wasn't a swap, but Anne Marie, who is in my downline, made this for all of our, our team. Look how cute she used the little um the little cloud die cuts and just put that on the front of the bag. I thought that was cute. But inside, it's this really cute hand sanitizer. Look at that. She used washi tape. I can never remember to use washi tape. That's great. It's a great idea. And she added that. That's a good little accent. That's not from that set. I like how they go together. This is retiring. I can't believe it. I really thought it would stay. And I have some projects made and I don't I was gonna do a class, but now I think it's gonna be a Facebook Friday. It's coming. All right. And then Kimberly, who's also on my team, made these for everybody. It also came with a bunch of other candy too, but I really liked how um she used the punches and Kept it pretty simple, but it has big wow factor. Of course, it's been destroyed now in my travels, but use that um, that crate. Um, here's my swap, and that my swap's actually um, also the card that my stamp club's getting this month. So there'll be more on that on my blog next week. Um, and then uh, I think oh, who gave me Denise? Was it you? I think Denise gave these. How cute to mark your your catalog. I love a big paper clip, don't you guys? Love it. And then you might have seen yesterday I posted about my team gift. I thought I'd give you guys a little closer look. I made these for all of my team that went. This is one of my favorite stamps of all time and it retired years and years and years ago and I have kept it, but I haven't used it since. And I thought having a um, on stage in Fort Worth was a perfect opportunity. So I gave them all, I got blocks um, etched with our team logo. And if you want more details about that, check out my blog post. There's a link there to the um, lady who did it for me. And those are our pizza boxes. That's the D block. It fits pretty good in there. All right. So that's that. That is from On Stage. I feel like I haven't really talked about On Stage because of all the things that they told us at On Stage. They just told us so much stuff. Um, let me remind you that this class, the truly tailored class, the deadline is Sunday. Um, four options. You can get um, the option that includes the bundle. You can get the option that does not include the bundle, but has all six make and takes. Um, both The first two options have all six make and takes. Um, the third option is PDF only. PDF is $15, and that's an immediate download once you purchase it. And if it doesn't show up, look in your spam and then send me an email because it should come within like two minutes. And then the fourth option is for my team. They get it for $12. They always get a discount because they're my team and because they can get a discount on their products. They don't have to order them through me. All right, so that's that. Sunday's a deadline. I'm cutting for this Monday morning. So if you want it, make sure you register um, on sun by Sunday. Now here is a little sneak peek and I hesitate to show you guys this because this is what's coming. It's not what is now, it's what's coming. And this is the Share What You Love Suite. Stampin' Up! did this last year. They released a suite of products um, from the, the upcoming um, annual catalog. For, for demonstrators can order it in April and customers will be able to order it in May. And so my plan is to 
offer some free make and takes when you order the um, sweets. More details will come, but let me just give you an idea. It'll be three options. Um, the option one is a, just a stamp set and some ink. Option two has more paper and embellishments and you are actually getting the embellishment kit for free and some envelopes for free. And then the third option, which is what I would recommend, of course, it's gonna have all of this. The best part is the designer series paper. Um, it's gorgeous. It's It has like a, like a shiny texture on one side. It's just really, really pretty. And I'm gonna sh go through this in more detail, but I want you guys to have kind of a heads up if you are if you like to plan out your purchases. This is coming in May. And what so what I'm gonna do, it's, all, it's a limit one per customer. So I can't order these for you guys. You're gonna have to order them yourself. So I'm gonna have a PDF with, my goal is 10 projects. So far, I've got six. I've got to work on four more. Um, the, so the PDF is going to have 10 projects using the, these products. And if you order the first level, you'll get the PDF for free. If you order the second level, you're going to get the PDF and the make and takes for free. And if you order the third level, you're going to get the PDF, the make and takes, and an embellishment for free. So just know that's coming. More details about this will come towards the end of the month. Um, if you, like I said, if you like to plan out your Stampin' Up! purchases, I would recommend getting all your favorite retired stuff this month so that next month you can do this with me because it's going to be a really fun um, class that I'm putting together. And it'll be free. The class will be free with your, your order. All right, my desk is cleared off. Let's see. I think we're ready to stamp. Um, I gave away the stamp apparatus, you guys, and I haven't shipped it yet. I apologize. Last, no, it was two weeks ago we did the Stamparatus giveaway, and I announced the winner earlier this week. Oh, it's coming out of the bag. Ju no, Sharon, Sharon Verity. She and I have already been in contact, so I will be getting this out to her. So congratulations. I know that was um, a fun prize to give out. This week, I'm giving out Born to be Loved and Your Priceless, both two really cute stamp sets. Um, brand new from the catalog and they're both retiring sadly so if you would like to win check out the raffle copter over on my blog that should have gone live already um, and enter to win also I'll give away I'm giving away some trim to people who share this video so if you would be so kind as to share my video with your friends or your groups or whatever um, I will I will be able to see it Facebook I can see um, who all has shared and I will draw names for prizes for that for next time now if this is the first time that you have joined me for Facebook Friday I always give away our make and takes the, the supplies to make the make and takes to anybody who orders using the hostess code and so the minimum is $30 and I have to have that order by Monday night and it has to use this hostess code. Unless your order is over $150, I want you to not use the hostess code so you get the Stampin' Rewards. Um, anybody who orders between now and Monday night, minimum $30, will get all three of today's make and take kits. This is last time, last time's kit. It comes with everything you need to put it together with a video and always a little tag in there for you as well. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Um, if your order is $50, you're also going to get this giant PDF. This is my all-star tutorial bundle. And as I'm thinking, as I'm looking at this, I, I think, you know what? I haven't sent this out this week. So if you've already ordered this week, I'll do that today. I do it about once a week. I go through all my orders and I send this PDF out. Um, 12, actually it's 13 right now, designers um, who all come together and make step-by-step -step tutorials with current product. And um, there's mine, little sneak peek. I can't show you the whole thing because it has to be a sneak peek. And um, But it's a PDF and you can, if you want to print it like I did, it's 70 pages, 13 different projects. Or you can just save it on your computer and access it there. Charlie, please, buddy, go on. <laughs> Now there's some other delivery truck in the in the in the cul-de-sac. Okay, so here's the PDF. You guys go over to my blog. The link, I hope I put the, the correct link at the description, the top of the um, the video today. 
Um, but if not, it's just pinkbuckaroo.com. And you can print out the PDFs for today's three make and takes. I have all the products listed, and I have measurements at the bottom that you need, and links to my classes, and links to that all-star tutorial bundle if you're interested in that, and the hostess code, and all the information you need. All right, let's stamp, you guys. So today we're doing retired products. I am sad about some things that are leaving. I am really um, shocked by some of the things that are leaving. Uh, you guys cannot miss out on some of these. So the next couple weeks, I'm going to be pulling out my favorite stamp sets that are retiring and um, doing some projects with them. Today, this is one of the ones I'm going to use. And the sad story about this is that I ordered it like on I, probably my first order last June. And this is the first time I've used it. How many of you guys have stamps like that? Don't let that happen. Um, keep them at the front of your cabinet so you remember to use them, especially ones that are this cute. All right, so we're gonna make a card and I'm gonna show you how to color this um, to make it all these different colors. Another thing to point out that's retiring in this card is the soft sky color. Soft sky is one of our retiring colors. Um, if you haven't, if you have not heard, we are retiring um, 13 core colors. And usually our core colors don't go away. It's our in colors that go away. But there are 13 core colors that are retiring, which is quite shocking. Um, and one of them is soft sky. So if you like soft sky, you need to grab it up. Get your, if you have retiring colors, and um, you guys, did you see this? I have this on my blog too. This will help you know what's what's leaving. If you have these ink pads, you need to order the re-inkers especially and probably matching cardstock so that you can protect that investment and you won't lose um, those, those ink pads. All right, so make sure you check that out. Okay, so much talking. So this stamp really needs to be in a lot of different colors. And I remember one of the first things I learned as a new stamper, I remember getting a stamp set, so excited, and then I went to ink it, and I thought, that is supposed to be a bunch of different colors. How in the world do I make that happen? So I called my friend who was a demonstrator, and she came over and she showed me. She says, you need the markers. So these are the stamp and write markers. And a few tips with this when you are coloring an image. Um, I like to kind of condition it first. So the first time I color it, I'm, I use my markers, I just stamp it over on um, scrap paper. And then I don't clean it. I go back and color it again. And that kind of, I feel like that kind of builds up the color on there. And the second stamp is always better than the first one. It seems more solid. So today, I left the ink on it from when I designed the card. We'll see if it's still there. We'll see how it looks. But um, usually building up the ink on there will help make the colors more solid and just look a little bit better and not so washed out. Sometimes when you first put the ink on there, it looks a little bit washed out. All right, so I'm using the Brights markers as well as Soft Suede there and here. And you know what? I don't remember putting these on the supply list. I'm just thinking about that. Did I did I add this to the supply list? I don't know. Um, one, another tip is if you accidentally get a color where you don't want it, get your blender pen and just go and like wipe it off where you don't want it, all right? Let's see, I can tell I need to add a little more green right here. All right, now the next thing you wanna do, because some of it started to dry while you were coloring the other parts, you wanna breathe on it. Just a big breath. And there you go, so cute. That actually looks pretty good. I don't think we need to do it the second time. All right, now we're gonna do the other one in the same manner, except I am realizing I wanna get my red ink pad. Hmm. Well, I don't know where it is. Well, we'll just use the marker. I was gonna use my red ink here because when it's a big, long, solid, color, I like to use the ink, the, the ink pad because you can use your um, post-it notes and or washi tape and mask off the rest of it while you're 
inking, then remove the post-it note, which is what I was going to show you guys, but my real red is somewhere in this horribly messy office. But that's okay. We're going to do it this way. Might as well keep it consistent. We're going to go with black here. Now, the best part of this stamp set is that it has matching framelits. We love matching framelits, don't we? All right, I feel like that red is not gonna be so good. I've got the fan on and I can already see that it is drying pretty quickly. Well, let's see. All right, give it a puff of love and stamp. Mm, meh. Well, we're gonna go with it. All right, so now we're gonna cut them out. Here are the framelits and the framelits match but there's also some other cute little things in here too. Whoops, that's gonna go there. We're gonna use this little sign. And this is the vegetables right there. All right, so let me pull the big shot up. I actually didn't have room for it on the table. Okay. Oh, the markers were listed, thanks Michelle. I suddenly was like, I have no recollection of typing those, but good. In the evenings, I, I um, work on these usually while I'm watching TV with my family or sitting at volleyball practice or one of the millions of events that we have. And um, I do forget, I do forget to add things. Oh, you know what? I wanna add this in too. One more way, this little sign right here. We're gonna cut that sign out of white and real red. All right, so let me take these off. And we're gonna run that little sign back through. How cute, so cute. All right, let's pop this out of the sign. Now the sign has a little heart in it, you can see, but we want that heart to be red. So let's cut it, just that part, a real red. And we'll pop that out. Hopefully I won't lose that, because that is tiny. There we go. All right. I'm gonna put that framelit right there so I don't lose it on my framelit sign. All right, let's put this together. Let's start with this, and we need some dimensionals, of course. And I have cut a soft sky square. That's a mouthful soft sky square with the stitched shape framelits. Let's put that there. And we're gonna put this here, also with a dimensional, like that. Now, oh yay, I haven't lost the sign yet. I'm actually going to do this. I'm gonna put, a, put the glue dot to the side right there of the heart. Can you guys see that? And then, oh no, there it is. It's stuck to the dimensionals. It's so tiny. Look, I even brought my tweezers. I started using my tweezers on something else yesterday and I thought, why don't I do this more often? Well, they're not even picking it up. All right, let's stick that right there in the middle like that. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and pop it off and slide it right behind. And it just one glue dot went together perfectly. All right, let's adhere that to a scallop square. And we're gonna put this all together. This is a real red card base with a whisper white cardstock piece. And then this paper, do you guys recognize this? This is the coffee paper. You know, that coffee suite that we have? The paper's retiring. The coffee bundle, the stamps and the framelit are not retiring. The bundle price is, but not the actual stamps and paper. Ah, uh, stamps and framelit. All right, so here's a piece of Whisper White that I have made too big. So we'll just put it there. Looks like I put it a little bit lower than last time, but that's all right. Trim that off. And we're going to take a piece of, oh, this ribbon's carrying over. I'm so happy about that. The Knight of Navy Gingham Ribbon. And I'm just going to stick it down with Fast Fuse right in the middle. 
and trim it. The gray, this whoops, the smoky slate is not carrying over the smoky slate um, gingham ribbon, but the Knight of Navy is. So we're very happy about that because I will continue to use it. All right, linen thread. Wrap that around that gingham ribbon. And we're almost done with this. It's very quiet. You guys are quiet today. Thank you for sharing, you guys. Those of you that are sharing the video, I do appreciate that. All right, let's put this on with some dimensionals. Uh, Mary, I see your comment about missing soft sky. Don't worry. There's a new color coming called balmy blue that is, in my opinion, better than soft sky. And then there's another, there's a sea foam that's coming. Of course, it's more green, but I think you'll be happy with the replacements. But go ahead and get those soft sky things that you need before they're gone. All right, what do you guys think? Oh, I forgot something. One thing I did that you'll notice on here, I felt like the wagon needed to be shiny. All right, so let's make it shiny with a fine tip glue pen. That will also make our, our little red look a little bit better, I think. So just fill that in. I've got a bubble. Every time I use this fine tip glue, I have a bubble that comes out. I've never had that happen before, but this is a brand new one. I'm not sure why it's doing that. But I don't want that on there. This look like, what are these red wagons called? They have a name. Can't remember. All right, so cute. Project number one is done. Hi, Belinda, how are you? All right, so let's move on. Hopefully I don't ruin that project by throwing something on top of it now that it's got that glue on it. All right, project one is done. Now number two. Number two, well, let me get a drink, just a second. Radio flyer, yes, Beth, that's it. Yes, Karen, you guys, radio flyer. All right, so the next project, I actually ended up with two gift card holders today. I don't know how I, I managed that, but this is a gift card holder. This is the mini treat bag. And I've used the mini treat bag many times for treats, but it also makes a great gift card holder. Isn't that a cute gift card from Target? Um, so that, that's what we're gonna use it for today. I have probably used the mini treat bag framelit more than any other um, 3D framelit that we have. It's easy to put together, and um, I am really, really disappointed that it's leaving. So the stamps that we're using, are going far, and this was new this year. It only it only stayed in the catalog one year. It's a great one. I've used it quite a bit this year. I wanted to point out also this stamp set. Let me show you what the mini treat bag framelits look like. So you, you have these two pieces, which I'll show you in a second, but you also have all of these plus a little bow that I have apparently lost, um, but it comes with a lot. I use this almost daily, this framelit right here. And I use these probably once a week. So this this whole this whole set I adore and I, I don't know how I'm gonna get on without it. It's so good, it's so good. But I wanted to point this out to you. This stamp set, when this um, mini treat bag framelit collection first came out, this was the stamp set that coordinated with it. And the framelits coordinate with all of this. The star is here, the circle goes here, they all coordinate. So if you're getting the mini treat bag framelits, check out the one that's called You're So Sweet because it's very, very good. Okay, so let's do our project. So we're gonna do Calypso Coral. I have cut it out already in Calypso Coral. And we're gonna stamp on it before we put it together. When you cut it out, you need one like this and one like this, and they will go together like that in a second. Um, also, I wanted to tell you guys, I'm gonna start trying to film um, quick and short versions of these tutorials to put on my YouTube channel. I've had some requests for that, so that if you need a tutorial, you don't have to listen to the whole hour of Facebook Friday, you can actually um, just find the tutorial you want. And I actually recorded this one this morning. So if you are 
um, looking for shorter versions of these tutorials, just know that you'll be able to find them over on my YouTube channel. I'm not sure I'll be able to do that every time, but I'm going to try, because I do think that that's pretty important. So I stamped the suitcase all over in Calypso Coral ink. So Calypso Coral ink on Calypso Coral cardstock. And I've burnished those two sidelines, and I'm just gonna use my Fast Fuse, which, you guys, is retiring, and there's no replacement for it. It's gonna be snail and tear and tape. So if you like Fast Fuse, I think actually the only thing left now is the refills. I ordered a bunch yesterday. If you like Fast Fuse, make sure you get them before they're gone. All right, so there we go, that's how it looks. So we're gonna fold this over, and I'm gonna put some adhesive along this long side here and fold that down. Now, this little flap you could have put in first, but I'm gonna actually put in, I like to fold it on the outside, and it looks like I was a little off on my, my, my folding. <laughs> That's all right, it's the back, right? Nobody will see the back. All right, little adhesive there, and there you have your holder, okay? All right, so let's make our little stack of stuff. Actually, we need to stamp our stamp, the little, um, the little, stack of suitcases. Kathy, are you asking me why is the, um, why is the fast fuse retiring? Is that what you're asking me? I don't know. I'm just only reading a few of it. Um, stamping this in memento black because I'm going to use our blends, which by the way, I saw today, they have updated with May that they're coming, some of them are come, gonna be back in stock in May. Yay, that's not very far. So I'm using Bermuda Bay Pool Party, Gold Olive, and Calypso Coral to do these. Let's start at the top. So Kathy, while I'm coloring, I'll tell you. Um, what they have told us is that they were having a problem with the manufacturer. I, I don't really know the specifics, but I would suspect it's a quality issue. Stamping Up is really um, uh, particular about quality expectations. And um, if things aren't meeting their quality control, then they don't want to carry them. And so I would expect that that's what it is. I did a light coat here in the light old olive. And then I'm going to blend it in with the... No, I... <coughs> Excuse me. I did a coat of light, then I did some dark down at the bottom... I blended it in, in again with the light. I'm going over the handles with dark and the bow. All right, the next suitcase we're gonna do in the dark pool party. And I'm gonna color over the dots. We're gonna come back over in a minute and go over the dots with Bermuda Bay. So yeah, Fast Fuse is and, and I wouldn't say there's not ever going to be a replacement for it. There's just not in the new catalog. Um, we'll see. Stamping Up is so good about replacing things and making us not even remember what, what has left. So I have faith that they'll come up with some adhesive that will be equal. And Snail is good too for things, for some things. All right, now I'm gonna go back with, so that was Dark Pool Party and this is Light Bermuda Bay. I wanted to use the Bermuda Bay, but the light Bermuda Bay is so dark that it was gonna make this suitcase really dark. So I'm gonna do the dots and the straps in light Bermuda Bay. And I decided to leave the buckles white because I just couldn't come up with any other color. And then when I left them and I was all done, I thought, that's, we're just gonna leave them white. I kinda like it. All right, next, last, we're gonna do Calypso Coral down here at the bottom. And I'm just gonna color the whole thing in. When I have a big surface to color in, I like to use the brush tip. And with our blends, you'll have no streak lines, which is so good. Um, the blends have been unorderable for a little while because the demand was so high. They're working feverishly to get them back in stock for us. And like I said, I saw today um, that some of them will be 
available again in, in uh, May. Soon, it's coming up soon. All right, so I did a little bit of dark down there at the bottom. I'm getting kind of messy, I'm rushing. All right, now let me uh, use my skinny end for these straps. Are they coming out with something that makes a treat bag in the new catalog? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> we have the um, the treat, um, what is it? The gift bag punch board, which makes a great treat bag. I'm using my fine tip scissors to fussy cut, and this is a really easy one to fussy cut because it's really just straight lines. And a few curved, but nothing too fancy. I know some of you don't like to fussy cut, while others really like it. I don't mind it. One thing I've been noticing I see trending is people are fussy cutting out words. So like a scripty font, they'll cut around it and it's so cute. But when I tried it, it was not so cute. It looked like a, you know those Pinterest fails where they show the picture of the original and then they show their picture. Yeah, I'm gonna need some practice on that. All right, so let's stack it up. Here's another thing that's retiring. You guys, I use this all the time. I'm so, I can't believe these are retiring. Um, the lots of labels, framelits, they're so good. They've been around for a really long time, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised because they like to replace them with more new and trendy things. So that's that in Pool Party. And then a Whisper White Starburst, which is a punch that is staying, yay. And then we've got a little, just a little piece of old olive, and I'm gonna make it a banner. And if you'll just cut in the center where you want the middle to be, then cut those, cut from the corner to the beginning or to the end of your first cut. That will make your banner even. All right, let's stack it up. Couple of dimensionals on the back of the starburst. Sure, I am happy to answer questions about the products. It's um, a confusing time of the year with the catalogs ending, and we have such a long period of time where the catalogs are going out. It's hard to know what's current, what's not current, what's coming, what you know, what's a sneak peek. It is kind of a confusing time. All right, so all of those, of course, they have dimensionals, and of course, we'll do two dimensionals right here. This is gonna be a nice tall stack. Thank you for sharing, I appreciate that. All right, so right there in the middle, now let's make the inside part. And what I did is just use some washi tape to attach that. Any washi tape you have will work, um, and sometimes, um, those gift cards come when you take them off the, the little card. They have sticky stuff on them, almost like glue dots. And sometimes you can just use that um, to stick it on. So I'm, this is the Shimmer. What is this? Soft Sky or Pool Party? I can't remember. Pool Party. Shimmer Pool Party ribbon. And I just did a loop. And I'm folding it in half. And I'm going to staple it. Now don't forget, if you see things today that you need to order, these retiring things, um, they are while supplies last. They guarantee, Stampin' Up! guarantees the stamp sets will be in stock through May 25th, but nothing else. Paper, framelits, embellishments, um, even our, I believe the, the inks that are retiring are not guaranteed. So if you want them, you need to get them quickly. All right, where did my glue dots go? Did we use them last time? Yes, we did, here they are. Um, so put in your order, Put it if you put it in by Monday, I'm gonna send you all three of these projects for free. Yay, so see how I did that? A cute little pool party bow, covers the staple, and we are done. Easy and cute, so cute. Congratulations, I knew you could go, you would, you'd go far. Graduation. If you have a coworker who gets a promotion, um, I think that's a great little, just a little, you know, something, something. All right. Thanks, Kathy. I know I'm a little bit obsessed with layers. A little bit obsessed. I am, um, when I design my classes, I have to kind of calm myself down sometimes because it's hard to prepare a class when every card has 10 layers. <laughs> it's hard. So, I gotta find that happy medium in the middle where we don't have too many layers, 
that it's gonna take me a year to cut, but that we have enough layers that so that it's cute, right? All right. Project number three, like I told you, is a gift card holder too. I don't know how I ended up doing that, but two gift card holders. And this is a project we're making, but I have to show you this. This was um, the original project. I made this for s several ladies who helped me out in Fort Worth. And my inspiration was actually a tissue holder. You know, the Kleenex that come, the travel Kleenex, they, some of, I don't know if all of them are like this now, but you can get the ones that are real skinny and flat and they open up. And um, I had one open up in, in my lap. And I think I was actually in church and I looked down and I thought, Oh my gosh, I need to make that. That looks like a gift card holder. So it opens up and it looks just like this and you pull the tissues out. But this one holds a gift card and a little note card on the other side. Or what I like to do for the girls' teachers is a, a dinner gift card and a movie gift card. And then you can write your message here. So, I don't know. I thought it was pretty cute. This is using that um, Sweet Soiree bundle. Um, but I changed it up because I really wanted to focus on the color Tempting Turquoise. This is probably my favorite color that is leaving. Um, it was probably my first love when I joined Stamping Up Tempting Turquoise. Um, but it's been around a long time and I, I had a feeling it was going to go because when Stamping Up quits using a color in their paper, in their designer series paper, in their embellishments, I always feel like that must mean it's not very popular. Um, so it hasn't, we haven't had embellishments for this in a very long time. So I'm not surprised, but there are some great blues like Coastal Cabana coming to replace Tempting Turquoise. Um, but if it's your favorite, again, you guys get the ink refill, make sure you have that. So your stamp pad will last for several years. Um, I'm using badges and banners, which is another, I feel like I keep saying this, another stamp set I am shocked that is going. Um, this is so cute and I have used it a ton and it has a coordinating punch. We love a stamp set and a punch. It's our favorite. Um, this is retiring too. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I use this on a lot of masculine, um, projects. So anyways, you need to make sure you have that in your stamping arsenal before it's gone. Okay. So let's make the holder first. You're going to need, let me get my Simply Scored. You're going to need a piece of Tempting Turquoise. That is, I'm going to my notes. I believe it is four inches by ten and a fourth. And we're going to score it at two and a half, five, five and a fourth, and seven and three fourths. And in case you guys were wondering, that PDF over there on my blog, it's right here. All these measurements right there, okay? So go over there and save it to your computer so you'll have it. All right, so let's burnish these lines. Now we're gonna punch a circle on the ends. That's gonna help us get the gift card out. And I wanna make sure it's centered, so I'm gonna just get my ruler. And since it's four inches, I know that two inches is the middle point. So I'm going to get my one and three fourths circle punch and I'm going to slide it in here and I'm going to try to, do you guys see how there's a line in there in the middle? I'm just going to eyeball that and make sure that they are lined up and then the punch. Pretty good. Eh, looks like I was a little off. That's okay. Now I'm going to make these the same. I'm going to put that there and punch that in. All right, so there we have them. Now this is where you want to use your tear and tape, which was right here. Here it is. Right here. It was on the other tray. Because we don't want to uh, put, if our adhesive is real fat right here, then our gift card is not going to fit in there. So we need to use some skinny adhesive, which tear and tape is perfect. And tear and tape will be my replacement for fast views <clears throat> once I can no longer get fast views. Tear and tape is excellent. It's, um, it will hold for sure, like fast use. Um, and it tears, you don't have to cut it, which is nice. All right, so peel those off. And if you have trouble getting those off, you can use um, your little fine tip scissors or your piercer. Um, luckily I have nails right now, but sometimes you know when your nails are real short, it's hard to get those off. All right, so we're gonna just fold that in there. 
and that in there. And that's where our gift card will go, and that's where our little note will go. Okay, so now let's get, we're using another shimmer ribbon. This is the basic black shimmer ribbon, one of my favorites. And I'm going to put it on here, just kind of eyeball how much I think I'll need. Cut that off. And we want to put this under the DSP, so we're going to lay that there, put my scissors on top of it, and we're going to put the DSP on top. Oh, you know what? The DSP that I'm using, and you guys will have to check, whole lot of lovely DSP. I think it's actually already sold out. I think I saw that last night. Um, it's a great pack of paper, but that's how it goes during the retirement. As I was today working on... Um, next week's projects I was thinking I hope these things don't sell out <laughs> before I have a chance to show you all right so see how that is in there under the under the paper like that and we can tie this in a bow to keep it closed you could also if you don't want to use that much ribbon just do like a tie you know not a bow and that will work just fine as well and I'm thinking, I'm not sure I have enough of this to do the make and takes. So I better check on that after we're done. Okay, now we're gonna stamp. We're gonna use the cute little striped badge. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, Marion. That's very nice. I know, I always learn new things too when I watch other people and I think, huh, I haven't been doing it that way. Or, you know, like, why didn't I think of that? That's why we watch, right? All right, this one says, number one, you could um, do a different sentiment here if you wanted. There's uh, one that says, welcome baby, a little hello, or you could even do, I thought about just doing that one, the best friend any, anywhere ever. That's cute. All right, make sure we close those inks up. And we're going to punch with the retiring best badge punch and this is kind of shocking the one and three eighths inch circle punch is retiring too none of the other circles but the one and three eighths and it fits that perfectly it's one and three eighths i i suspect the reasoning and i don't know for sure but i suspect the reasoning is that we must have a circle framelit that matches one and three eighths that's the only guess i could have or that i don't know i don't know I really can't, and that's, that's the only thing I think of. All right, dimensionals. Lemon Lime Twist, did I mention that? All right, and I felt like it needed a little more fun color, so we're gonna take, you know what, I better use my scissors on this. We're gonna take these Tutti Fruity sequins, also retiring. They are not in the new catalog. And we'll just add a few there, like that. Oh, I don't know, maybe I need to put one over here. There, all right, gift card. Holder number two is done. What do you guys think? All right, so let's review what we did today, class. If you didn't know, I used to be a teacher. I always feel like I have to do this. All right, so we did two gift card holders. The mini treat bag. You guys, if you like making 3D items and you haven't gotten the mini treat bag, you need to get it. It's so good. Um, soft Sky, if you are one of those diehard Soft Sky lovers, Make sure you have your rinker and your paper. And then if you love a badge and you love a punch, make sure you get that too. All right, so use the hostess code by Monday night at midnight. And um, I will send you all three make and takes for free. Go over to my blog, print or save the project sheet so that you have here are the item numbers and the measurements. Here are the links to my next two classes and that all-star tutorial bundle. And I think that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have questions. And I'll be back next week, same time, 2 o'clock next week. All right, you guys? Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great weekend. Bye.